Now what I've done then is sketch what we're given, the curve of y equals f of x, and marked on where it crosses the y-axis and the x-axis at 0, 1 minus k, and this point b here, half natural log k, 0. OK, well, what we've got to do then is sketch the graph of y equals the mod of f of x. Now, what does this mean? Well, when you have a mod round the function f of x, it means that all the y values have to be positive. Well, all the y values down this stretch of the curve are positive, so that's OK. We're going to have the curve coming down through here like so. This is meant to be on top of the red one. But when we get these values here, y is negative. And what we've got to do is make them positive. And so what you get is this part of the curve is reflected in the x-axis. So if you reflect this part of the curve that's below the x-axis in the x-axis, it's going to look something like this, coming up like so. And we've got to mark on the points where it crosses the y-axis and the x-axis. Well, on the x-axis, that point's going to remain exactly the same. But on the y-axis, this point here is going to get mirrored above. So because this is 1 minus k, we're going to get the negative of this value. Imagine if this was, say, minus 3. This point would be minus minus 3, which would be plus 3. So whatever this is, it's going to be the negative of it. So the coordinates here are going to be 0 and then minus 1 minus k. Now, minus bracket 1 minus k, you could write again as 0 and take the minus 1. And remember, you're multiplying each term in the bracket here by minus 1. So you get minus 1 plus k, or k minus 1. So that's the point there where the mod of f of x, y equals the mod of f of x, crosses the y-axis. All right? OK, so the blue graph is what you should have sketched in. What I'll just do is I'll remove the red graph, and that's what you should have. OK?